In the name of Jesus Christ, so tell me who can stand before us. Tell me who can stand against. Oh, none can conquer nor defeat me when I call your name. So I will call your name. I will call your name And every knee will bow And I will shout it out That Jesus is his name Hello and thank you for watching our live streaming broadcast. I'm Bishop Anthony L. Genright and the message this morning will be a continuation from the message that we began on last week. Down but not out. 
I want to encourage you to stay focused and tuned to this message, and the Lord is going to bless you real good. Come on, let's go to church. Good morning, Gap Nation. Let's get ready for worship. Wherever you are, I want you to put your hands together like you're with us right now. Hey! Hey! Everybody clap! Come on, I want y'all to sing this up. Say, write them all there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father, we're grateful for your word that you sent to us. Yeah, write them all there. Hey, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me will forever be fruitful indeed. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one gets to the Father except that they come through me. Yeah. So let not mercy. And true, yes, Lord, forsake your hope. For oh, let none mercy and true, forsake your hope. Forsake your hope. So we ride them on there. Everybody clap, everybody clap. Come on, wherever you are, let's rock with us. Hey. Everybody rock, everybody rock, everybody, everybody rock, sit right there for me. Come on, this next part is your turn. I need y'all help. Come on, sing it out with me if you know it. Right here. I am the way, yeah. the truth and the light. No one gets to the Father except that they come. So let my mercy, my mercy and, true, and true, yes, Lord, forsake your hope. Let my mercy, my mercy and, true, and true, forsake your hope. Oh, no. Forsake your hope. So we write him on the yeah, everybody rock, everybody rock. Wherever you are right now, come on, get your dance on it. Everybody rock, sing right in the morning. Yes, Lord. And we're grateful for your word. So we're going to declare this wherever we are. Come on. Hey, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your strength. Say, lean not, lean not to your own yes, Lord. Trust in the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust in the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord. The Lord. He's our Savior. He's our King. So why not trust in Him? Yes, Lord. Say, lean. The Lord. I will trust in the one that saved me before. We know that you do it again. Yes, Lord. Leave. I will hide your word. Yes, Lord. I will hide your word. Lord, it will keep me everywhere that I go. Word in my heart. Hey, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Oh, Lord. Right here. Lead. Lead yeah. to your own. One more time. Sing it out. Trust in the Lord. Trust Oh, oh, oh. All your heart. Yeah. Trust in the Lord. All you have never let me down. Trust in the Lord. All your heart. Lead. 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 Lead
Lord, yes, Lord. I will hide your word in my heart. I will hide. I will hide your word in my heart. Hey, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in it. Sing it out. Sit right in on it. that we can persevere because we have a charge to keep but secondly we are able to persevere because we have watch this a calling to fulfill uh -huh. somebody ought to say I've got a calling to fulfill that's it that's it and not only can we persevere because we have a charge to keep but secondly I've got a calling to fulfill. Uh, not only are we facing a charge, we also have a calling. I love it. A calling, a calling to fulfill. Charles Wesley keeps up on saying with that hymn, he said, to serve the present age. Watch it. My calling to fulfill. Oh, may I all my power engage to do my master's will the apostle paul said all things work together come on and help me preach you know it all things work together for good to them that love god do you love him uh -huh. well it's working for your good and for them watch now who are called according to his purpose. Uh, somebody open your mouth and say I'm called. Uh, yes you are. As a Christian we work in fulfillment of our calling. Uh, all through scripture uh, we find God calling people to service. Uh -huh. God called Moses to go to the Pharaoh and demand not ask but demand that he let his people go. God called Elijah to deal with Ahab and the prophets of Baal. God called Isaiah to prophesy to the children of Israel. God called Jeremiah uh, to address the concerns of his people. Uh, God called Jonah to preach to the Ninevites. Now all of these individuals and others answered the call and found themselves facing some tough situations but they pressed on anyhow uh, because their calling uh, was real and needed to be fulfilled if Moses had failed uh, who knows the children of Israel would have been hard pressed to leave Egypt land just think if Elijah had failed who knows God's people would probably have surrendered to Baal worship if Isaiah had failed who knows the nation would have probably succumbed to the surrounding 
surrounding nations if Jeremiah had failed who knows what would have happened to God's people if Jonah had failed who knows what would have happened to Nineveh if Esther had failed what would have happened to the Jewish people a God needs his people to fulfill their calling because their calling can affect the lives and souls of so many others. Uh, yes, uh, the story is told of the Reverend Charles Fuller pioneered Christian radio preaching nearly 30 years each week to 20 million people on the old-fashioned Revival Hour broadcast live from Long Beach Auditorium in California. In 1919, uh, Dr. Fuller was working in the orange groves of Southern California as a manager of a fruit packing house. Uh, for some time he had been uh, a sort of a restless, increasingly convinced that God wanted him to resign his job and to go uh, to the Bible Institute of Los Angeles to train for ministry. Well, he began to view his work in the packing house as just a continuous year round race and when it was all said and done not much was accomplished for eternity it, it was just a matter of getting the best prices and one morning in april as uh, Dr. Charles Fuller sat in his office in the packing house, uh, the conviction uh, uh, overshadowed him that he should uh, go into full-time ministry because uh, he uh, would not receive any rest or release any where else uh, he became so convinced and so overcome by the spirit until he could not sit to his desk he he knelt behind a stack of orange boxes he struggled with the fear that he didn't have the fluency and speaking ability needed for preaching and he worried about the financial ramifications of leaving his job especially as he recently made a down payment on a 20 acre orange grove of his own uh, and and first these obstacles seem uh, too great and uh, too much to give up and so he rose to go back to his desk to resume his work but as he began to get up the power of God fell on him again and it was so heavy until he sank back down to his knees and he began to pray oh Lord I will walk in your path I will even try to preach I will resign my position and trust you to supply all of my needs as I prepare for ministry uh, Dr. Fuller said after he prayed that prayer peace came to his soul and he soon notified the board members of the packing house that my uh, fall by fall of that year he was going to resign and go into full-time ministry uh, they didn't take the news so well they were sad because they loved Dr. Fuller and his work and one evening as he was going about his chores uh, uh, yeah one man said to him uh, 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 Fuller you're too good of a man for ministry uh, you should stay here why a minister only has to work one day a week that's Sunday and and he only preaches on Sunday he's really not working furthermore I don't think you are qualified for ministry you might starve out there trying to preach but Dr. Charles Fuller uh, he had already made up in his mind that there is 
no turning back. Fulfilling his calling was the most important thing that he could do now and for the rest of his life. Uh, people of God, let me tell you, other things we do in life may be temporary in nature, but our calling is a lifetime commitment. Uh -huh. It's not something that we can cut on and cut off when we get ready. Uh, but it's something we do in and out of season. <clears throat> That's what Paul told Timothy. Uh, you got to preach the gospel in season and out of season. You got to do it when people are supporting you and you got to do it when people are walking out of the church. Uh, so at times uh, in fulfillment of our calling, uh, we may find ourselves down, uh, but we will never be counted out uh, because God said, Lo, I'll be with you always, even unto the end of the world. Uh, you know, when you call uh, and you know you call, uh, uh, then uh, you understand the importance of remaining true to your calling. I'm called to this. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, if I wasn't called to ministry, it's no way in the world I would still be in ministry. I, I, I just can't quit. No, no, no. I just can't walk away. It doesn't matter the price that I must pay. Oh, I know that if I pay the price, uh, uh, then there is a reward that's waiting for me. Uh, yeah, you see, some folk uh, uh, don't really understand the seriousness of their calling uh, because the least little thing uh, uh, they'll give up their calling uh, and resort back to uh, what they used to do uh, but when you are called uh, yeah you understand uh, uh, that there are no flower beds of ease uh, no you understand that there is no utopian world uh, you understand uh, uh, that I I'm called to do what I do and I'm going to be found faithful in my calling. Uh, yes, we are able to persevere because we have a charge to keep and a calling to fulfill. And finally, uh, we are able to persevere because, watch this, we have a Christ to follow. Yes, uh, we are able to persevere because we have a Christ to follow. As long as we have Christ and as long as we choose to follow him, uh, we can never be counted out. Did you hear what I said? I said, as long as Christ be Christ and as long as we choose to follow him, I don't care what it looks like. We cannot be counted out. Uh, as Paul said, we may be troubled on every side, but it doesn't break us. We may be perplexed, but we never lose hope. We may be persecuted, but we are never abandoned. We may even fall down, but we get up again and again and again, the apostle Paul also said, these bodies of ours are constantly facing death, just as Jesus did. And so it is clear to all that it is only the living Christ within who keeps us safe. Yes, we live under constant danger to our lives because we serve the Lord, but this gives us constant opportunities to show forth the power of Jesus Christ within our dying bodies. He goes on to say, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet our inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light afflictions, I love it, which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory while we look not 
at things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. When we follow Christ, we may not understand all that we go through. We may not understand all the way that he takes us, but we have the blessed assurance of knowing that it's all working for our good. You need to just go ahead and encourage yourself and say it's working for my good. The Bible teacher A.T. Pearson tells about a new convert to Christ who had a strange dream in which he was trapped down in a very deep well in the night. He looked up and saw shining stars from above him and it seemed to let down lines of silver light that took hold of him and lifted him up. Then he looked down and began to go down. He looked up and began to go up. He looked down again and began to go down. He found uh, uh, that simply by keeping his eye on the star, he rose out of the well until his foot stood on the firm ground. Uh, the dream was a parable, said Dr. Pearson, and this is uh, uh, the parable. Get your eyes off yourself and on your savior and you will never stay down i love it get your eyes off yourself hallelujah and put your eyes on your savior and you will never stay down that's a good word for somebody right now because you got your eyes in the wrong place you're looking at the wrong stuff but you need to just look to Jesus and watch Jesus uh, uh, take you to places beyond your sorrow and your gloom saints of God I'm not saying that we will never be discouraged and no, all that we will never be disheartened or disappointed or doubtful on the contrary Jesus said in the world you will have tribulations but be of good cheer he said I have overcome the world my brothers and sisters in these hard times these difficult and trying times we may find ourselves down uh, uh, but through uh, although we may be down uh, in these times uh, uh, we ain't gonna stay down because we are putting our eyes on Jesus uh, we know the Lord and our faith and trust is in him uh, we can never be counted out you know why because we are too blessed to be depressed, too saved to be enslaved, too happy to be all sappy, too taught to be bought, too anointed to be disjointed, too almost through to become unglued, too sealed to be killed, too inspired to get tired, too empowered, yeah, to be a coward, too sanctified to be terrified. Uh, we are too in time to change our mind, too much fun to leave the sun too much light to give up the fight too much story not to chase God's glory too free to get off my knee too alive not to thrive too aglow not to grow too on fire to believe that liar uh, too led to be dead uh, too right to be uptight too glad to be sad too legit to quit, yeah, too involved to be dissolved, uh, too bold to be sold, too refined not to shine. Uh, we've got too much hope not to cope, too much fight not to uh, stand in might, and too much peace not to reach. We may be troubled 
on every side uh, but that is no reason for us to hide uh, we may be perplexed but that is no reason for us to be relaxed we may be persecuted but that is no reason for us to be destitute. We may be cast down, but that is no reason for us to frown. We are a resilient people. Uh, who knows uh, what it's like to bounce back? Uh, yeah, we are resilient people. Uh, we know what it's like to bounce back time and time again this is because in times of crisis on this ball of confusion we know how to lean and depend on Jesus uh, the saints used to sing I've learned how to lean and depend on Jesus he's my friend and he's my guide I've learned how to lean and depend on Jesus. I found out if I trust him, uh, he will provide. Uh, so let us lean on him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us lean on him who is the alpha and the omega, the first and the last, uh, the beginning and the end, the one uh, who will always uh, uh, see us through. Uh, yeah, let us lean and depend on Jesus. Uh, yeah, every now and then, uh, we need to uh, understand that when we lean on Jesus, uh, he'll never let us fall. Uh, that's why we sing one of fellowship, one of joy and divine, leaning on the everlasting arms, one a blessedness, one a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Then what have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms, I have a blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, I'm safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning, I'm leaning on the everlasting arm. And since I'm leaning on the everlasting arms, then what, yeah, a fellowship, a word, a joy divine, just leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. That's why we can't give up now. We've come too far from where we started. Nobody told me that the road would be easy, but I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Come on, you all uh, get up from that blow that left you discouraged uh, that left you depressed uh, that left you devastated uh, get up from that attack uh, that has you paranoid uh, and paralyzed uh, uh, preventing you uh, from keeping the charge uh, and fulfilling your call uh, Pick yourself up and shake yourself off and get back in the fight. You ain't through. It ain't over. You can't quit now because you got a Christ to follow. He will lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though we 
walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We fear no evil for the Lord is with us. His rod and his staff comforts us. He prepares a table of before us in the prison of our enemies. He anoints our head with oil and my cup runneth over surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the day of my life and I shall you shall we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever we may be down but we are not out I said we may be down but we are not out because the Lord is on our side and if God be for us who can be against us if God is on your side tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name Jesus precious Jesus we have the victory thanks be unto God we may be knocked down but we're not out I stand as a witness today because Satan knocked me down he thought that he had wiped me out he thought that he had destroyed me he thought that it was over for me but what Satan didn't understand is that God had called me God had made a charge for me to keep and I'm following the Lord even in the midst of going through a challenging time the devil thought that he had me Lord have mercy but he didn't understand the promise that God made me had to be fulfilled because the word said he which begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ and look at me now I'm still standing Lord have mercy I said I'm still standing and I'm standing on the promises of God I think I'll tell you I don't feel no ways tired I've come too far from where I started nobody told me that the road would be there but I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me now I don't know how you feel about it but I'm determined to see this thing through I'm determined to see Jesus I'm determined to foot walk in New Jerusalem just like John I'm determined to join in with the loved ones that have gone on before somebody said I got a mama over there somebody said I got a daddy over there somebody said I got a sister and a brother over there well that's all right but most of all she is there waiting on me and just as soon as my feet strike Zion I'ma lay down my heavy burden put on my robe in glory shout and tell the story Yes, sir. I said I'm up and the devil is in trouble.
trouble. I said, I'm up. You knocked me down, but I got back up. And I want to tell somebody, get up from there. Come on here. Get up from there. Shake yourself off. It ain't over until God says it's over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Give him glory. Give him praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Down. But not out. Get back up again. Get back up again. You have a destiny. And the enemy is not going to rob you of it. Because you're better than that. Give God praise. Give him glory. You can get back up again. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't listen to those naysayers. Don't listen. Don't, don't. Take your eyes off of the situation around you. Put your eyes on Jesus. You can get up from there. You ain't the only one who have been knocked down. And you won't be the last. But thank God we have resilience. We bounce back. Hallelujah. And we live feeling the calling, honoring the charge, and following Jesus. God bless you today. I pray you were blessed by the message down but not out. Listen, I want to extend an invitation of Christian discipleship unto somebody who does not know Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. You may be listening to me and you're wondering, what can Jesus do for me? Well, let me tell you, he can make your life complete. He can turn things around in your life so much so until you will become a new creature in him Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. So if you are ready to try Jesus today, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat this. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner, and I realize I cannot save myself. Save me, Lord. Come into my life. Make me new. I accept you now as Lord and Savior. I'm saved and I know I am. I am saved and I'm secured in him. In Jesus name, amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, you are born again right now. Yes, you are a new creature. Let me be the first to welcome you to the family of God. You were down, but now you are up. And all things become new. God bless you today. Listen, we want to know of your conviction and of your commitment to Jesus Christ today. All you need to do is just look at the information on the screen and reach out to us so that we can help to walk you through the process and uh, be a partner with you as you grow in the Lord Jesus Christ. Things are going to take off for you. You're going to see the hand of God move in your life like you've never imagined. Welcome to the body of Christ. We're waiting to hear from you now and we'll reach back out to you. God bless you and welcome to the family of God. It's offering time and I am just so grateful that we have this privilege now to express our love unto the Lord by way of giving. You know all that we have, God has given it unto us. We brought nothing into this world and we'll carry nothing out. And it is so important that we honor the Lord. Where do we begin? We begin with our tithe and with our offering. Bring the tithe into the storehouse. And the Lord said, 
you can prove me now herewith and see will I not open unto you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there will not be room to receive. And I'm here to tell you today that God will honor his word. You can give by way of Cash App, Giblify, PayPal, or you can even call the church and make your transaction that way. Leave us your name and a contact number and someone from the ministry will return your call expeditiously so that you can uh, uh, be a supporter of this ministry. Thank you so much for your liberal giving. You have been a blessing to this house of the Lord and I want to encourage you to continue doing what you're doing. Don't slack up now. We've come too far and God has been gracious unto us and he will continue to do so as you continue to give. We love you and we thank you. Come on, let's give now in Jesus' name.